Hey there guys, time for another play along with Mrs. Steck. I am going to be working on the trumpet today. And I'm gonna be going through page 14 in your Tradition of Excellence playbooks. Um, we're starting with number 43. We'll go through the other um, warm up for breath support challenge in class sometime. In the meantime, it's really self-explanatory. Put on a metronome or tap your foot in tempo and see how far you can get through all of those beats. So if you get all the way through number 20 or 25, et cetera, then kudos to you. Or if you get all the way to the end and then have some to spare, that means you're doing great. All right. So page 43, there's another video, or sorry, page 14. There's another video that has all of the rhythm stuff on it that you can use um, if you're confused about how to count these rhythms. Um, you can go back and watch that. There's page 14 and 15, both in that same video. If you don't need it, awesome. We're gonna go through notes with this. Um, we don't really need to go through the notes for number 43 because we only have one and it is E, okay? So first and second bow. And then turn the my part off because it can be kind of irritating. It's all one note that goes straight across and it sounds kind of like a car horn if you play it. Um, so I'm gonna have that off I'm also gonna turn the accompaniment off. Make sure that when you're tonguing, especially the eighth notes, but all of the notes really, make sure that you're not doing that with each breath. So it's not. But you keep the air going the whole time and you play just separating with the tongue. so it's one line. All right, and sorry, my valve was kind of sticky. Here we go, playing through number 43. Two, ready. <laughs> The tongue is going to come against the back of the top teeth. Ta, ta, or da, 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 da. Let's turn the accompaniment and go one more time. Clang. Two. Ready. <laughs> So there's that. Go into the next. That one's pretty easy. There's only one note. It just wants you to focus on getting the tongue and the rhythm. This next line, Michael Finnegan uses all the same rhythms, but let's go through the notes. So we've got C, 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 E, G, E, E, C. D, 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 B, D, B, B, B. Then we go back, C, 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 E, G, E, E, C. Then we skip to G, F, E, E, D, C, 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 C. Okay. Pause and write those in if you need to. Bump the tempo down. Oops. My part can stay on this time. I'm turning the accompaniment off. We'll go once without the accompaniment and once with. Two. Ready. <laughs> And I forgot to send my part on, which is totally fine. 
All right, with the accompaniment this time, same tempo. If you need to slow it down, remember you can do that through YouTube's customizations. All right. Two, ready. <laughs> go through number 45 only one note for this one as well and the rhythm is in your other video and we're once again on the note E again same idea and we're gonna go ahead and turn the accompaniment keep the accompaniment on and just do this one one time because I feel like the first one kind of got us into the the method of using that tongue properly so just to the note E now we have our eighth note on the fourth beat. Okay, so here we go. Ready? <laughs> and make sure not to play an extra beat after this one. I know that it can be kind of tricky. The, the accompaniment, I think, does help with that a little bit. Let's go through the notes for processional and dance. I'm going to erase this and move this up. All right, so here we go through the notes of number 46, processional dance. So we've got C, 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 B, B, C, D, E, E, G, F, E, 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 D, and we go back, C, 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 B, B, C, D, E, then jump over, G, G, A, F, F, E, D, C. Okay, so those are my notes for number 46. Let's go ahead and play through. All right, my part on, I cut mine off for this run through. Two, ready. <laughs> slurs in so that we're not tonguing say for example between the C and the D tongue the C don't tongue the D just go ahead and move the fingers up to it and then same thing E to G don't tongue just use the fingers all right let's turn the accompaniment on two ready <laughs> We have number 47, Baja Breeze. Let's go through those notes. We've got C, D, E, 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 F, E, D, 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 B, and I'll put another D just as a reminder. B, C, D, 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 C, D, E, rest then we repeat c d e e e f e d d d then skip g a 
E, D, D, C, rest, C, C, C. Okay, pause and write those in if you have a need. Otherwise, we're going to keep on trucking and get through this last piece. Last one on this page. Good job, you guys. I definitely recommend that you do the trumpet um, cornet private lesson and go through the fingerings and name those notes. All right, here we go. Two, ready. <laughs> And sorry, my third valve got stuck. I yeah, don't know if you could see it in the video, but it was highly annoying. All right, one more time with accompaniment. Here it goes. Two, ready. <laughs> And that is all for page 15, sorry, for page 14. You will have another tutorial coming at you for page 15 um, in another week or two. I will see you later, guys. Have a good one.